Hi guys, welcome to another lecture of JavaScript and in this lecture I will teach you how to use functions. Functions are very very important and uh, they are very useful not only in JavaScript but for all the programming languages. So you'll see that in the next chapter or in the next course which is going to be PHP functions work very similarly to JavaScript functions. So functions as well as variables and arrays are very, very similar in different programming languages. Okay, so if you learn how to create variables or arrays or uh, functions in JavaScript, you'll see that you'll be, you'll learn how to create them in other programming languages such as PHP very, very quickly. Okay. We are now in JavaScript and I'm going to show you how to create your first function in JavaScript. Functions are very useful for organizing your code and for organizing and structuring the different parts of a script. So let's say you have a thousand lines of code and you need to each part of the code to do different things. So you organize and structure those lines of code in different functions. Okay, so each function will do a different thing for you or for your project. So at the end, instead of having a thousand lines of code, you'll have maybe a hundred uh, functions or 50 functions. Okay, now let's create our first function. The first thing to do is inside your script tags to declare a function. To declare a function, you just type function space and then you just type whatever name you want for the function just like the variable so let's call this first function and then you type parenthesis and then you type curly braces and then inside the curly braces is where you're gonna put the code that you want to declare to this function okay so usually what we do is the last curly brace is um, down here and in here let's give some code to this function let's type for example let's this function let's uh, give a document right parenthesis semicolon and here this function works okay so save this and if we run this in um, Chrome now nothing happens why because we have to call the function and to call the function to run the function itself we must type the name of the function so we must type first function and you must also put the parenthesis. Okay, so the function name is this one here. So let's see what happens now. And there it is, the function works. So basically we call the function here to run whatever is inside it. And that's how functions work basically okay this is a very simple example of course but this is how they work and how you can use a function on your code now let's create a function with arguments so in the future you'll hear about arguments that you can put in a function and arguments are values that can be imported into a function so I'm going to show you how to do and how to use arguments. Between the parentheses, after the name of the function, let's type 1. To put another argument, you type a comma and then 2. Okay, so we have uh, two arguments uh, with the name 1 and 2. Okay. And let's give a new name to this function. Let's call it uh, just uh, first or first name. Save this. Okay, so now we type document write. This function works 
let's take this out and type one plus two. And let's give a little space here, a blank space. Okay, you'll understand later on why I'm putting um, a white space or a blank space. Save this. Now, let's put the name of the function here correctly, which is first name. Okay, here. And now inside the parenthesis, we're going to type the values that you want to give to one and two arguments. Okay, to these two arguments. So let's type here Victor, comma. And here we can type bastos. Okay, save this. And I imagine that you are you already know what's going to happen. So let's launch this. And there it is. Okay, Victor Bastos. So what happens is that arguments is something that you can use. Um, let's say you don't know right away what value you need to put in here, or what code do you want to give to these two arguments, you just know you're going to use these two arguments, almost like variables inside the function. Okay, so later on, when you type, after the function is created, after you call the function, you can give whatever uh, values you want to these arguments. Okay, so what about if we have two functions or three or four functions? Um, Usually in JavaScript, you always put the functions first and then you can call the functions as, as you wish. So let's type here, for example, function first name will be Victor. And let's type a second function. Last name. That will output document write my second name or my last name. Okay. Okay, let's save this and let's take the, these values out of here. Okay, and save it. Okay. Now, let's give it a space here. Okay, save it. And uh, if we call the first function first name, let's see what happens. Obviously, it will appear Victor only. Now, next, if we type last name, Obviously, it will call the second function or the function last name and will appear Victor Bastos. Okay, so this is how you can call different functions or multiple functions. Um, just make sure you put the functions first in your code and then you can call them as you as you wish. Okay, guys. Now, don't worry. You'll get more into the um, more into uh, advanced functions later on the code and you'll understand later on. Uh, why do we use functions and you'll see how useful they are when you have a lot of code. Okay, see you guys later